Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty D TV. But I was over at Nichols Paint and Fab's open house. And man, if you've not seen the videos on that place, you gotta check them out. What a beautiful facility. And in the showroom, they had this 1951 Henry J. I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Justin, how are you, brother? Doing awesome. How about yourself, man? Doing good, doing good, staying busy. I see y'all were up at that uh hot rod reunion up in Minneapolis. Yeah, so that uh, Back to the 50s show, that okay. is a freaking insane show. I hear about it. I've never been to it, but you say it's worth visiting for sure, huh? Absolutely. They invite us up every year. We, they give us an awesome spot. We do well and meet and greet. and It's just a good place to be, man. Right on. I guess this uh, gasser sitting in your showroom would be good at that show, hey? It would have fit right in. That thing kind of fits in everywhere. It's kind of timeless looking, isn't it? Right on. Oh, I was up there looking at that car in the showroom. I mean, it's a it's a beautiful car, but you tell me that they race it, and it's been done a while. Yeah, it's been done for quite a while. Uh, actually, kind of a cool story. Um, this is, this owner of this car has been a friend of the family for a while, and he's been into drag racers, gassers, nostalgia stuff forever. And uh, my dad used to actually paint all his cars, and, and then uh, dad passed away a few years ago, so Tom came to me and... Said, hey, I want you to paint this. You know, I want some sort of '60s panel job on it. And I'm like, well, heck yeah, it's right up my alley. So he's like, just go with it, and I can't wait to see what you can do with it. And this is what we came up with. So he just turned you loose. Absolutely. He's like, I want, I want red on it somewhere. So I'm like, I think we can handle that. Right. And it really doesn't have a red red on it. I mean, uh, the engine's red red, but the rest of it you used deeper, more, um, you know, deeper colors, deeper reds than a brighter red. You didn't. My point being is you didn't make it loud and aggressive in that way. Right, right. The uh, it's 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 more or less candy. It's all on what you put underneath of it and how it acts and reflects, and it's cool, man. I just, I just like how doing that different stuff like that. No, because I think a lot of people are, are familiar with the builds that have come out, you know, in the last 10 years from you, and um, the, you didn't have an opportunity to do this kind of crazy paint work, but if people look into your past, especially with the bikes, yeah, this is your thing, right? You can, I mean, crazy paint, you can come up with it like anybody can. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's always been my thing. I love, you know, doing the flames, I love the, the panel stuff, I love doing all the crazy, just crazy cool stuff, and... Uh, we're known for our paint and getting everything super flat and cool and yeah. The paint's basically what you all did on this one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tom actually built the whole car himself and uh, he does all his own. He did everything mechanical, everything structural. Um, all he did was bring it into us and and let us go crazy on the paint. What power is it? You know, that's a small block Chevy. Um, I don't know any of the details of it, but uh, the, the thing runs, uh, you know, just under ten seconds. And that's that's pretty cool. Wow. Do they run it in like that Southeast Gassers competition, or they take it some like to a, another form that they can run it in? Uh, he goes to, uh, you know, Byron, uh, the Nostalgia Drags up there in Byron, Illinois. Okay. Um, he, it's, it's always like vintage style uh, stuff, uh, the Nostalgia side of stuff, and that's what he's really into. He's got some old uh, slingshots and uh, some dragsters hanging from the roof of his garage and everything else. It's it's pretty cool sight to see when you go visit him yeah and tell me i mean when you when when a client brings you a car like this and does turn you loose what's the thought process how do you how do you get out of their head what they really want because when somebody turns you loose they still have a vision in their head of what they want you know yeah yeah and that, that's probably the hardest thing especially on something like this because it's not it, the car's got so many shapes and angles and every it, it's all over the board um, so to, you can tell a guy you want a panel paint job on the car, but you can't just do a panel paint job and not flow with the rest of the car. And I mean, you just got to stand back a little bit and look at what you got going on, the shape of the car and what's going to look good on there and follow lines. You know, it, it's really hard to explain, but how long does it take to do something know. like this? 
I mean, some come um, faster than others, or, or is it is there you know a process once somebody brings you you know because again, I think a build you're going to do a rendering on, you're going to sit down, you're going to talk to it. You know, when a person even when they come to Holcomb and they're like, you know, work your magic, it's almost sometimes a cop out and they don't know what they want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so you know, you're kind of going to have to come up with something that's going to make them happy versus them going, I want this, I want this, I want this, and then you make your adjustments to that and give them your version of of that. But in a case where somebody says, hey, I trust you, just go with what you want, I think that's I think that'd be as, as tough as anything because at the end they can be like, well, that's not what I was thinking. Well, you never told me what you were thinking, so I don't know. Right, right. Yeah, I don't know. And everything's different. You just... I like to just go with it. I don't like the. Do you draw it out? Do you do you do anything like that, or you just start laying tape? Just start laying it out, and if it works, it works. If not, start over. You know, it's you, know, you can sit there and draw stuff all day, but once you get into the groove and you, you put the earbuds in and get the music going and uh, just start laying tape down and designs, it's it. it I find it for myself personally better just to roll with it and see what happens, and that's how I do with like motorcycles and stuff too. You know, I'll put the bass down i'll put it back together for the most part and start laying stuff out and just see what flows and what looks good so when you're working on one of these paint jobs you're working on it by yourself it's almost you're getting in into a zone yeah and that and that's when i find the time to do that that's what uh that's what's fun yeah. you know i got Pat and harold back there in the body shop now and they've been helping out a ton with the paintwork stuff you know because <clears throat> my hands are obviously full, full right now uh so yeah. Yeah, no kidding. But No, it's a cool car, brother. And when I was out there, obviously I wanted to grab some video of it and you were like, Well Scotty, all they did was paint it and I was like, Well, <laughs> that's a big part of it, man. I want to show the people that. But we wanted to be clear that the car did show up, you know, ready to go and uh what Nichols did and and for people to know that, yeah, if you put your own car together and you want just a killer paint job, Nichols is a place that can do that for you too. Absolutely, yeah, from uh, big to small. Right, and if people want to get in touch with you, follow you, what you're doing, you know, what's the best way to do that? Type our name in anything that has a search bar, man, you'll find us. Uh, social media is Nichols Paint and Fab, and then the website's NicholsPaintFab.com. Right on. Yeah. Well, you just gave me a good way to reply with people ask me how do I find Scotty DT because I always say Google it, but that's you know, publicizing Google. From now on, I'm just going to tell them anything that's got a search bar, just put Scotty DTV in it, and you'll get it. It's the easiest way, right? Right on. Brother, you killed it, knocked it out of the park. I'm sure the whole world's going to love this one. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So there you go from Nichols Paint and Fab, a very cool 1951 Henry J. Gasser. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey, y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.